The 41 first alert weather app game of the week is back at Macon's Thompson Stadium tonight where the undefeated Northeast Raiders are getting ready to host the undefeated Lamar County Trojans should be an awesome matchup. 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent joins us live from the field with this week's Coach's Corner. Hey Tuck. Hey Ash, well for the second straight week the Raiders are going to be featured on the end zone game of the week tonight and for good reason. They're undefeated heading into this game and their opponent tonight, Lamar County, is also undefeated. Tonight I'm going to give you here, I'm going to go ahead and give you now a look at what the coaches had to say about this game coming up tonight. Here's this week's Coaches Corner. The Northeast Raiders put their 4-0 record on the line Friday night when they host Lamar County. The Trojans sit at number three in all of two way in the latest Georgia State poll. They're going to be one of the best teams we're going to see probably all season, you know, not just face so far, but all season. We, they're going to be one of the best teams we're probably going to see. The Raiders have seen plenty of the Trojans in recent years. In 2011, Lamar County beat Northeast 48 to nothing. Last year, the Trojans won again. 36 to nothing. Lamar County's coach says those games are in the past now. Well, he's making is a, a formal uh, opponent. I think he coached from others. He's done a great job getting those kids ready. Uh, they're a much more athletic and faster team than we are, and they also, uh, they're also bigger than we are. Here's what Coach Mullen had to say when I told him about that compliment. I disagree with that. You know, we haven't played a team yet that we've been bigger uh, and faster. And a matter of fact, this is probably the slowest team I've had since I've been here. Uh, Lamar County, you know, got several guys that are committed to big time colleges already. And uh, those guys, uh, they're not committed because they can't play football. Northeast will have to rely on its defense, which is giving up less than eight points a game. I think what they don't give enough credit for maybe is their defensive guys. Uh, defensively, those kids, they run around, they hit people, they create turnovers. And not only are they creating turnovers for their offense to get great field position, they're scoring points on, on defense as well. So uh, we're going to do a good job protecting the football on offense just to try to score as well as keep it away from their offense. Now, if you manage to get out of your house and make it over here to our game of the week tonight, of course, the northeast side will be filled with plenty of red, black, and gold. And, of course, on the Lamar County side, they'll have blue and white on. But you'll also see another color tonight. Tonight is Purple Awareness Night. They're asking people to wear that color uh, to raise awareness for domestic violence, lupus, Alzheimer's, and other various forms of cancer. So you'll be sure to see plenty of color in the stands tonight. Now, remember, last week's game of the week, when northeast hosted Monticello here at Thompson Stadium, Monticello had never never beaten Northeast. Well, tonight it's a different story. Northeast has never beaten Lamar County. It should be an interesting matchup tonight.